Today, let's look at arrays. When you're looking at an array, you've got two different ways that you can count. So this way, these are rows, which are horizontal. And this way is called a column, which is vertical. And basically, we're going to count the number in each row and the number in each column to figure out how many we have. So let's look at our first one. So here's the first one. I've already circled these for you. These are rows. When we're going horizontal, these are called rows. And we have one, two, three, four rows. And in each of our rows are two red dots. So therefore, we have four rows of two. Okay, let's look at our columns. Here are our columns. We have one, two columns. And in each column, we have four red dots. Therefore, we have two columns of four. Let's take a look at this one. I labeled the rows and columns for you again. But this time I didn't circle it. So let's take a look. Remember, rows are horizontal. So how many rows do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five rows. And in each row, we have one, two, three, four. So five rows of four. And then our columns, we have one, two, three, four columns. And in each column, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have four columns of five. And the last example we'll do today Again, rows are horizontal. I didn't label it this time, so you have to remember we have one, two, three, four, four rows. And in each row, we have one, two, three. So four rows of three. And then columns, we have one, two, three columns. And in each column, we have one, two, three, four. So we have three columns of four. Next time we'll look at using arrays to add up the total number of shapes that we have. 